Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a what I take to a show. So tomorrow we are taking Caramel, our little world section A, to her first show of the year. Um, we're just showing her in hand. And this is everything we will be taking along with our truck and trailer. So I'll just go through all the things individually and show you what we're taking. Obviously it would be slightly different if we were riding. Um, this is mainly all the stuff for the horse, everything that I'll be taking for me, like uh, what I'll be wearing and everything obviously will be on my person. Uh, but this is just all the sort of stuff we get ready the night before we go to the show, um, all ready for what we need when we get there. So the most important thing in this case that I really can't forget is Caramel's bridle. So I keep it in this little purple bridle bag because obviously it is fresh, freshly cleaned and oiled and I don't want to get dirty at all otherwise we will lose marks. Um, so I will just take it out there and it is a showing in hand bridle so these are slightly different to a normal. It has a little coupling and it also has a leather rein. Um, hers is the small pony. I can't remember who it's by. I think it's Oakfield, but it's a lovely little dark brown um, bridle. And this I actually checked about five times that it was in the trailer because obviously, if we forgot this, it would be pretty disastrous. So the next thing that is definitely needed are some extra hay nets. We actually took three in the end. One was used in the morning um, and on the way there. One was while we were there and one was from the way back. There was a lot of hay left over in each one. We didn't need quite this much, but it's better to have more than not enough. So the next thing is the grooming kits. We actually take two grooming kits when we go showing. One just has the standard brushes in it that I'll go through in a second and the other I call my lotions and potions grooming kit. So starting with my grooming kit that has the brushes, I just use my Borstik um, Hessian bag that I keep everything in. So the first brush I have is a magic brush. These are um, like hard sort of curry combs. Um, but they're actually really good for removing excess dirt and excess coat. So if there's any loose hairs or anything like that. Um, these are just sort of an all-in-one type of brush. Which are really, really handy for when you go showing. And you want to make sure that there's no loose hair or there's no debris on your horse's coat. Next I have my Bostique finishing brush. This is just really nice for... Um, brushing over any show sheen or anything like that and giving your horse a really nice polished look just before they go in the ring um, so that's sort of like the last brush I use to give that polished finish then we have the mane and tail brush which is obviously just to brush through the mane and tail I do this before I leave but I also take this with me just to get any knots out that she might have got in her tail um, from travelling next I have a rubber curry comb just to remove any dirt um, especially any stain she may have got from the trailer. Then we have the body brush which is just to remove any dust or dander and um, this is a brush I use just before I use my finishing brush uh, it just gives a nice finish. And then we have a metal curry comb now this isn't for use on the horse herself it's actually to clean the other brushes off um, especially the magic brush if you have a magic brush I'd definitely get a metal curry comb um, because as you can see with the little teeth on it it gets in between the bristles and gets rid of all the excess hair that's on the brushes finally is the face brush um, so this is a, just a soft little bristled brush which um, is really good for brushing their face with um, and sort of gets all of those little excess hairs and excess dander off their face so those are all the brushes I take um, I also take a little comb which I didn't show in this that's just to brush through her mane and sometimes you can put a little plait in with a native breed so sometimes we do that uh, so now moving on to my lotions and potions box this is the box that just sort of has everything in it um, a bit of everything. 
So the first thing it has are some sugar cubes. These are very essential. Um, sometimes you just need to give your horses a bit of reassurance. Some sugar cubes are really nice to sort of encourage them away from other things, keep them nice and calm. And if they're being good, it's really nice to give them that as a little treat. I give, give them caramel generally after she come out of the ring. I also have some cotton wool just to, if I need to clean her at all. I have some Horseman's One Step Polish. Um, it's a conditioner and a polish to use on her tack. I then have a hoof oil brush and a hoof pick just to take care of her feet. I then have some scissors in case you have any flyaways or I notice any little bits of hair that need trimming once we get to the showground. Moving on to the next level of my box, I have a slightly damp sponge, which is what I use with the Horseman's One Step. I also have some whitening powder. Uh, this is by Gold Label, and we use this on her legs, um, just in case they need to be whitened at all, but I don't think we actually use them on the day. We also have some baby oil. And then some shine coat or coat shine, sorry, by Nettex, which helps give her coat a lovely glossy finish. Then we have some black hoof oil um, or hoof gloss. Um, this just really helps make their feet look amazing if they're nice and black. Then we have my trusted favourite, the show sheen. Exactly what it says on the label. It's for show, show ring, show ring shine. <laughs> really can't talk today. Then in my little green bottle I have some fly spray just because it was quite um, a still really hot day um, so there were quite a lot of flies about. And then we have some stain remover because you can guarantee that she will get a stain from the trailer and that is not ideal. Next, um, I take my muck bucket and in this I have some rubber gloves. So these are just some gloves that we use sometimes to pick up some of the horse muck. Um, they come in really handy when you're just trying to pick up certain bits. Um, personally, I prefer a sort of um, pooping scoop and the little fork. I don't know if this has a specific name, I just always call it the poo scoop. Um, but I don't actually know if it has a specific name. But yeah, so we take those. Um, in case she does any poos in the trailer or when you're at the showground because you obviously don't want to leave it for anyone else to clean. Another essential that you're going to have to take no matter where you take your horses is some water. So I use my Aquarol. This is really, really handy because it means that you can just move it wherever you want. If you're taking a large amount of water, obviously it is very heavy. Um, so I use my Aquarol just because it's so much easier if you need to like move it about. Um, and it just means you have water on hand, whether it be for Caramel to have a drink or whether she needs to have a bit of a bath when we get there. No matter what the purpose, I know I've got enough water. Um, to keep her going. So obviously you need something to put the water in. So this is just a clean bucket um, that is her water bucket. Um, just This can be multiple uses. We actually take another smaller bucket for if I need to bath her um, and then the big bucket is for her to have a drink while we're there. Um, so I'd recommend taking a couple of buckets if you can. If not, you can use the same one. Just make sure you wash it out thoroughly in between. Um, and then the final thing that we take are a few wipes. These are actually um, small animal wipes. So they're for dogs and cats. Um, but they smell really nice and they were really good. Um, I use these for wiping her bum, her eyes, her nose. As long as they're pet safe wipes, um, you'll be fine. Or you can use baby wipes. Um, and then finally, we take a few dusters. These are just for dusting her off literally before we go in the ring. Um, they come in really handy. You can never have too many. So we always take quite a lot with us when we go to the show. And that is everything. So they are all the items that we take 
um, for the showground. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you guys if you're getting ready for your first show um, or you're just trying to remember what to take. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.